Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is video on Azure Blob Storage for managing the files using .NET Web API. Okay, so here is a small diagrammatic representation of Azure Blob Storage. In general, Azure Blob Storage is a Microsoft Cloud service for managing, like storing or retrieving the file from the cloud. Okay, so in Azure Blob Storage contains three main building blocks like storage account, container, and blob. Storage account is nothing but creating one kind of account inside of the Azure Cloud. So this storage account gives a namespace for our file. Namespace means nothing but a subdomain gets created with the name of our storage account. So using that URL, we can access our files, okay? Next, coming to the container. Containers are nothing but the, just like folders in a normal file system, okay? You can see here, upload images and upload videos. Those are two different containers, okay? And next, blob. Blob is nothing but any physical file. We can call it as a blob because it was saved as a, unstructured data that means any kind of data can be stored okay so that is the simple diagrammatic representation of the azure blob storage now let's create the azure blob storage account in our microsoft azure cloud okay so such like azure portal login and click on the top link okay and if you don't have a microsoft account please create an create a free account with the Azure Cloud, okay? So since I have already created, I'm not going to show all the registration steps, but while creating, it might ask you either your credit card and the debit card details. And one thing is this Azure Blob Storage service doesn't charges you for basic usage, okay? Which is very, really, really helpful for students or the learners who are new to the Azure Cloud but we should give our credentials like credit card or debit card while registering, okay? So let me sign in since I have, I have already had a account. Okay, if you successfully registered and you sign in, you can see a dashboard or a homepage like this. The first thing we have to do is, here you can see a plus button like create a resource, okay? Click on it. Okay, so here you can search like storage account. Okay, and here you can see the storage account one card, and you can click on this create button. Okay, now we will get a create a storage account form here. We have to use it. Okay, so here subscription. Okay, this is my subscription I am going to use. If you have a free subscription in the drop down, it will automatically populate. If it is a paid subscription, also you can use because Microsoft won't charge if you use the Azure Blob Storage for the basic usage. Okay, so I'm going to select my pay as you go. If you are a student or if you are new to the Azure Cloud, you will get one month free trial. Then you, you can access the uh, free subscription here. Okay, and here one thing you can observe resource group resource group is nothing but like a folder. Okay, so in this group we can have or we can add a number of uh, Azure services. Now we are adding our Azure blob storage service into this resource group, right? Like that you can have like Azure service bus or Azure AD all those into one resource group like a container. Okay, so if you have already created any resource group you can use it or else you can create a new resource group i am creating new resource group okay okay that is my resource group name and here is the storage account name okay so this is main important thing because this storage account name will be used to generate the subdomain okay using that domain we can access our files 
okay so please give a meaningful name okay for this demo i am going to give like okay that is my storage account name for this demo okay and you can leave region default and performance you can use standard and redundancy and here you can see we are in the basic tab of create storage account and you can see there are several options but what we can do you can skip all those with the default options okay for that you can directly click on review button or if you want to configure individually you can click on next button so what i will do i will directly go to the review tab by clicking this review button okay let's wait for a while because here your create button will be enabled see it is enabled after applying some validations it is enabled okay now here it will display all the default settings what we have registered in the form okay now click on the create button so here you can see initializing and deployment that means our azure blob storage is creating so let's wait for few minutes and here, here you can see deployment is in progress so wait for few minutes and you can see deployment is successful that means azure storage account got created now click on this go to resource button okay and this is our azure blob storage account okay so if you recall our azure blob storage structure it contains storage container and blob currently we are done with creating azure storage account now we have to create the container right so let's create the container so in this azure blob storage account on left hand side you can see a menu like container click on it and here you can see a plus button with container so click on it it will open a form now you have to give your container name okay so i will give like that is my container name so here it is showing all the uh, letters in the container name must be small case okay so, okay and here public access level like what kind of you have to access give the access like if you want private means no one can access it okay and if you want anonymous read access only for blob for only blob only if if you want to give permission for container also then you can choose it for my demo i can choose the container level permission okay now click on the create button wait for few seconds container will be created so here you can see the container if you double click on it so this is our container and here you can upload your document so to upload if you click on this upload it will show the form for upload okay you can select from your local machine okay so what i will do so here i have some car pics let me upload this pic okay click on upload and here see this item now it is called a blob okay this item whatever it is coming we have a blob that means storage account container and the blob combinedly creates the azure blob storage so if you want to access this image directly since we have given permission like container and blob as well right so copy this url and paste it over the browser and see we are able to access the image so that is how azure blob storage works next we are going to create a .NET 7 web api and we are trying to upload the files and read the files from the web api itself okay thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like the video please do support me by subscribing as well as by liking the video soon we are going to meet with new content until then signing off